Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we are going to model this cross fitting. In my last videos, I have been modeling a lot of advanced things. I think it is time to make some basics also. And then let's attack. We create a new part and on front plane, we create a sketch. Firstly, I am placing here a circle, which is 37 and a half. And via mid plane option, we make 88 millimeter an extrude. Then we look from right plane and create here a sketch. Firstly, I will create here a construction line and one more here because I will use this for mirror option, this for revolve option. And I place here one arc. And then later on, I play, close my arc, semicircle now, and we have got a four millimeter value here. This will be a semi circle. And then we should just give a relationship that this point should be in this line. And we just say, well, our control is clicked, viewpoint be in midpoint of this line. And as you see, it is now fully defined and black. Then later on, I select my mirror and I made a mirror the other way around. And then make a revolve here, merge out active, and we have done. Later on, we have radius one, and yeah, we could just select, in fact, this surface, then automatically the areas will be understand by program. This is okay. Now uh, we are going to make a copy of this one. Firstly, I need an axis because I will make a circular copy. We have got an axis here, axis command. I select my origin and I select my top plane. We are this way program creates an axis on that center point, origin point normal to top plane. Now we can make a circular pattern, 90 degree, instant spacing, and two, this is axis, will be body, as you see, it's done. And now we have got here a feature, which we call combine, and we will add these two body to each other. Now we can complete our model a little bit more before adding our uh, threads. Here we have got radiuses, which radius five. And then later on, we are going to make our hole cut. We are, we are hole wizard. I'm selecting my hole and inch pipe depth wheels and size is one and position will be on this surface just drop it there and while control is click on your keyboard select two object the circular and this center line and say concentric and the value is 47 and a half this is a cut value and now this object will be circle pattern and instance instant spacing very cool spacing 360 by 490 time for also be working and we have got this cut out okay and now we can con uh, continue our operation under whole wizard we have a thread and this thread will be on this edge will be cut thread and specification inch tab one by 12 which means in one inch length there is 12 thread and i make two millimeter offset like in the real world how a thread starts and later on i'm going to make here a normal to and later on reference plane 
and we click on the surface and via that surface i'm selecting middle line of my ending point here and then i do create the uh, plane after this operation i will have a sketch here i'm trying to make a nice ending of my thread here i place an arc and here i place the line which is tangent to that arc as you see it is tangent defined by program and later on to this ending normal i'm making my this construction line perpendicular and then i will create the with tangency and ending radius is let's say radius 10 we have got something like this as you see and then later on on the surface surface we create a sketch and convert entities after this operation i'm going to swap cut and this will be cut it okay that's nice and now you can make a circular pattern for threads and this is center these are objects thread and this cut and we say okay geometry pattern yes we copied everything over there last operation our cutout our chamfer cut sorry and here we have got a diameter of 32 and a half and with extrude cut we will make a 45 degree cut over there like in the real world how you see on a fitting we have cut this surface and as you see there is a nice starting of this chamfer and thread and i select my axis i go click my circular pattern once more i copy my cut here oh, geometry pattern and just it is cut it as you see yeah it is looking nice and by these operations our part is done and then you can change your color and then if you want you can give some metal color for example brass it is looking nice if you want to have this uh, real view please do watch the link that i put below of the my uh, video and then you will see how to activate that it is able to activate it in all kind of computers doesn't matter what kind of graphic cards you have but sometimes for complex models it makes your computer slow and drain your old cpu you should take care of that thanks for watching my video if you like it please do make a comment and if you do search and advanced videos please do visit my channel you will find enough challenging videos over there see you in another video